hello to all my subscribers i just wanted to come to you guys and let you know the update of my weight so y'all stay tuned currently at work just wanted to stop by and say hi to all my subscribers and hello to all my new subscribers um i'm just coming to y'all with an update monthly update and today is june 28th two days left in june but i'm here to say that i am now 299 pounds but what you gotta say about that <laughs> no but i'm excited i don't know how to feel right now because i don't know i, <clears throat> I think i'm more shocked about the situation um and thanks to everybody that congratulated me and supported me. And I just want to say I really, really do appreciate all the love. Y'all giving me um, uh, the motivation to keep pushing and keep going. And I just want to say thank you to you all. But um, I'm kind of shocked, y'all. I really, I was just weighing 301 yesterday when I went to the uh, my doctor's appointment. It ended up getting on the scale today and it's 299 i had to get off and get back on y'all i said no this shit can't be right but got off got back on it was 299.0 but um i've been noticing a lot since i've lost 48 pounds i might as well say 50 50 pounds gone and i mean i noticed a lot um i can do more move better clothes looking better i still have to um put it in my head mentally that 50 pounds is gone because some days i'll be just like dang i don't feel like i lost no weight but then when everybody see me they be like girl you doing it and i'm like oh okay well of course they're gonna see it more than me because i see myself every day but i feel i still feel different um my clothes are getting bigger um I'm just noticing a lot of just the small stuff. Like me sitting in the car, I noticed that my stomach is not to the steering wheel. Um, I can walk longer, run longer. Um, overall, I just feel good. I don't know. I don't know how to feel, y'all. Bear with me. Bear with me. But I am 299. Goodbye, 300s, and hello, 200s. So my goal is to lose another <clears throat> 20 pounds before my trip so i'm trying to lose 20 pounds for my trips oh another thing i have noticed um my legs i couldn't even believe like i i might insert a picture i don't know but my legs are so much smaller my arms i do have loose fat on my arms so i've been trying to tone that up because my arms have shrunk a lot but it's still the um, the looseness or whatever so i'm trying to tone that up and i noticed that my face is getting slimmer this is i can't wait for this to go so it can be ugh, all the way gone but i noticed that it's real fucking loose like i can pull it now so um what else i don't know i just feel i feel lighter like, even when I work out and stuff, like, I don't get as windy as fast. Now, y'all know I used to work out for, like, 45 minutes. Sometimes push push to an hour, but I have to make myself just push to an hour because sometimes I used to be tired as here. But lately, I've been working out for, like, a hour, 30, 45 minutes now. So, I can tell that my, um, <clears throat> I'm getting my wind up or whatever. And I have been working out seven days a week for the last... It's about it's about been a month for the last month. I've been working out every day, um, except the time when I was sick for them few days. But other than that, your girl doing her thing. What I don't say, they didn't expect for me to turn around. <laughs> they didn't expect for me to turn around. But nah, um, I'm excited. So hopefully, when I leave for Vegas, August the 14th, I will be either 280. Or 275. I'm gonna try to push for 275 because I'm pretty sure I can do it. I've been going hard, I've been eating right. <clears throat> um, 
I just been doing everything right. And then this fasting. I don't know if y'all think I'm bullshitting or not, but fasting really works. Remember I was on here and I said, I think I'm plateauing. It wasn't that. It just, I had to push myself a little harder to, because I was only plateaued for like, I only stayed that, stayed uh, two away for like maybe four days. And I'm like, damn, I'm used to losing like a damn near a pound every couple days or something. But I had to push harder and intermittent fasting really worked y'all think i'm bullshitting i was lo i was losing a pound and a half a day if y'all hear something i'm at work and um he, he decided to, to motor on right now so that's what y'all hearing or whatever but um intermittent fasting really work if y'all really want me to break this shit down and if y'all really 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 want to see some results and if y'all really want to do it let me know and i will really break it down because when I used to watch the videos, I used to be like, damn, I just don't understand how <clears throat> if you fast from 7P to 11 AM, how the hell, how, how are they going to do that? I said, man, that's some bullshit. Somebody lying. No, it really, really works. Like, remember I was, I said, I'm only down five pounds. I'm like, damn, but I'm, I'm down 12 pounds within a week and a half. Down 12 pounds within a week and a half. Well, almost two weeks or whatever however long it was but it don't matter but anyway my goal was to lose 12 pounds this month and it's still two days left and guess what your girl reached it so my next goal is to be 280 275 280 either or and if i like i said if i don't reach it i'm not gonna beat myself up about it because i don't know i'm doing all the right things i need to do to um, lose this weight so let me know if y'all want me to do video on intermittent fasting i might just do it anyway because y'all be acting like y'all scared to comment and talk so uh I'm, my next video probably will be on intermittent fasting it's gonna be straight to the point what you need to do what should you eat what should you stay away from uh what times to eat i'm just telling y'all from what my experience and i really tried it and the shit worked i ain't playing it really works so listen to me if y'all really want to get snatched, because let me tell you something. Next year, your girl finna be in a one piece. I would say two piece, but I'm going to give myself a little leeway. But I will be in a goddamn one piece, and it will be fitting right with my cute little shorts on. So, y'all stay tuned. I'm about to get back to work. Catch y'all on the flip side. Bye. As you all can see, I'm getting better with mountain climbs. I'm able to hold my weight up good now. And um, y'all see me getting it in. Quick little warm up. I do like about five to ten minute warm up and then I get started with my hour and thirty minute workout. So as you can see right here, I'm doing lower body workouts. So this is basically working on my abs. I think these are called the scissors or something, something like that. But just working on my lower body so I can lose my stomach because that's my trouble area. Right here, I'm doing toe touches and then it's followed by squats. Working on this booty, okay? <clears throat> currently outdoors walking usually when i go to the park i do hit cardio as well i run for two minutes walk for two, walk for a minute and then i'll do my weights outdoors and then i always end my workout with a 10 minute run As you can see, working on my stomach again. Outdoors again. 
Um, I really enjoy working out outside because for some reason, I feel like it makes me feel more better when I'm outdoors working out. Or maybe I just love the scenery anyway. But me working out outdoors, going on a nice little walk. Right here, I end up seeing a dog, so I got distracted. I'm like, up, oh, time to move around. Now, who said big girls can't run? Y'all better quit playing, quit sleeping on big girls. But nah, um, here I am just in the basement on the treadmill, just doing a nice little jog, a little hit cardio. Y'all just don't understand, I'm so proud of myself. I really trained myself to run, and I really got the win to run. And people think when you're a big girl that you just can't run. No, it's, it's possible. All you got to do is put your mind to it. Train yourself, and you, you can do it. Look at that girl go. I'm really doing a two-minute run, one-minute rest. And I repeat that for 30 to 45 minutes. So as y'all can see, I purchased the um, sweat vest. I already had the um, Gold Gym sweatband. So I'm going to do a review on the sweat vest after two weeks. This is day four. And I can note, I notice it's getting a little big. As you can see, it start right here. And um, I'm feeling it. This is the view. Got to get this stomach down. So what I do with this is I run, do hit cardio, do all my lower body, upper body, do full, a full workout in this. And I'm not going to lie, so far, I'm loving it. Um... You get real high, so I suggest you put um, a spaghetti strap shirt under it because I hate for you to be out somewhere wearing it and you start sweating and you itch because I know a lot of bands, uh, sweat bands, make you itch if you don't um, put uh, a tank top under it. I always put a tank top under it because I hate to sweat, but I want to sweat, but I hate to sweat, so I don't want this thing to be sticking to me. Then I'm going to go crazy. So, I'm going to give y'all a two-week review. Also, I'm going to give y'all an update on my weight loss soon. So, stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to get it in. Yes, I use my Apple Watch to track my walks and stuff. So, I'm about to go to Kendall Burger Park and get it in. So, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace. Yes, I'm proud of myself. Wouldn't you be? 42 pounds down. I just needed a good 85 more. <laughs>